I recently got this Bolu 5008S camera and I need a battery for it now. So today we're going to resell this battery. So I got this camera a few weeks ago. It was in kind of kind of in bad condition. I had to remove all these things, clean a lot of things up. I had to 3D print one of these covers underneath the um, metallic part and it's looking pretty good now. It's cleaning, cleaning up well. And in order to make it work, I need a battery. I tested the, the camera with electricity using uh, another battery and I know the camera works and I did some research already so I can I'm gonna try to figure this out here I haven't done the, the work yet and I know it's not it's not gonna be that difficult if you haven't seen my video where I resell this battery for the Bolu 4008S you may want to watch that, that video before you watch this one or after but this video is gonna be based on on that one because most of the information that I that I explained there applies to to this camera they use the same concept this camera can handle a bit more voltage but it's pretty much pretty much the same the same concept this battery and this one as well the two of them um, provide 7.6 volts or 7.2 7 volts to the camera this one is for the volume 4008 and originally it had 300 milliamps I already resell this one this one is bigger as you can see and they are similar in a way uh, I think this is gonna be way easier because there's much more space on this one and they, they basically behave in the same way work in the same way there are three poles on the on the camera there are three terminals on this one as well one two and three this is the battery for this camera there are three connections and this is the positive one this is the negative one and you have to be really really careful if you want to do this work um, it's kind of confusing even when it's pretty logic when when you connect the camera the um, negative on the battery is gonna be on the opposite side of the hand grip so you're gonna you want to be really really careful about that um, so we have the same as on the volume 4008 negative positive which is in this case 7.2 volts and we need 3.6 volts on this one which is the one that po provides power to the light meter and the um, zoom and auto aperture of the camera they imp made some improvements on the second version of their their batteries and that at least there's more space and that's because the batteries were bigger this battery has the original one 500 milliamps i already said 300 on this one so that's why it's bigger um same thing i saw this thing and i the first thing that comes to my mind is i have to unscrew it and it was not the case and as i said before in my case in order to figure things out sometimes i have to destroy things and i hate to say it but i had to use these pliers and grab this thing to try to find a way to to open it and happily uh, by the way this is plastic 
it's like bake light and it, it feels it's um, thin and it feels brittle so it it may break easily happily in my case when I applied some pressure using a rag I didn't do it directly with this teeth sharp teeth on the plastic I heard something cracking and I figured that the battery was just glued to the other part so there are there's no thread on this one it just uh, just slides in and after reselling it I'm gonna have to glue it so as you can see there the reflection it's a thin brittle plastic and as you can see the batteries are there they used cell button cell batteries and I'm not going to use those and you have to understand something um, and I explain a bit of that on my other video I'm planning to resell this battery using the same batteries that I used on my previous video which are these two triple A batteries that you can get for a few dollars really they are really affordable and these batteries are rated at 500 milliamps the camera requires 500 and I think it's because um, the sound options this camera was capable of recording sound and there are some other bad cameras like this one this one can only run at 18 and 24 frames per second there is another version version and the other one can run faster it came out run faster it's gonna it's gonna require more amperage as you can see there are three cells actually making this battery but this whole unit it's called two slash triple a and conveniently that's why I picked them up they provide 3.6 volts I said we need 3.6 volts on one of the parts of the camera the pulse this one right here requires 3.6 and this one requires 7.2 so conveniently if we put these batteries together in series they are going to provide 3.6 at some point and 7.2 volts on an, at another point so we're going to connect these two batteries on a series and it's gonna we're gonna end up with a negative pole 3.6 volts between the two batteries and 7.2 volts on this one it's amazing how it works how electricity travels in one direction so let's start removing these three screws and you want to pay attention to this because it's gonna be kind of challenging later putting this thing together and you're gonna see why in a second there are three screws And for some reason, there are a lot of layers of um, so you're gonna see these, you remove the and screw the three screws, you're gonna have one. Be careful with these things because it's hard to replace them. I already 3D printed one. This is not the original one because the the one the original one cracked a bit. Uh, at some point, this is gonna come out, and this pin doesn't have any 
a mechanical connection it just attaches to this ring made out of metal you just have to apply pressure so at some point we're gonna have to put all these layers together and we're gonna have to find these wires align them with the screws and put it put it back okay so now I'm getting ready with the soldering pencil because I have to desolder these wires there are three connections as you can see as expected obviously and there are three wires that happily at least in my case correspond to the standard used today red it's positive black is negative and yellow in this case carries the 3.6 volts use on the other pole you get up you have to pay attention to that I have seen all their stuff cameras especially um, that were made before these standard were used get it so I'm just gonna go ahead and desolder those wires and even when I didn't want to do it looks like I'm going to have to cut the wires I don't see where they attach to them to the battery and it looks like these can come out but I don't want to do that so I'm just gonna cut these two the battery is out and we have a case empty case plastic very brittle looks like it has some metal inserts this one right here this is gonna be <laughs> make things actually more challenging putting it together because I'm going to get rid of this battery so I'm not gonna have this battery to hold it so I'm gonna have to hold it at some point when I'm going to at the end I'm gonna have to hold it inside this tube and then align it while I try to find the holes finding all these things together all these layers to put it back together but that's that's the way it is I wanted the video to be short but I have to tell you this there are different chemistries and depending on the chemistry that you are using you have to use the right adapter I mean charger okay so I'm going to use this charger to charge the batteries the new cells that I'm going to put on the on the case and you have to be careful with these things you cannot use any charger with any chemistry as you can see on this one it says NIMH and as you can see this charger that I'm going to use it's designed to be used with this chemistry so you have to, to use the right one okay so getting ready to put the batteries together and before I do that I'm going to test them to make sure that we have the right voltage and to prove the concept of putting two batteries together and as you can see I just charged these batteries 4.22 that's a lot I mean it's kind of safe all batteries do that but it's more than it should be and we're getting 8.4 when we should be getting 7.2 
but that's just at the beginning all the batteries do that Okay, so I tried to finish it last night. I couldn't, so I used super glue from the dollar store to keep this place, this metal ring in place. And it's proving to be very challenging because you have all this stuff, you have the wires, you have to push the wires and at the same time from the other side you have to push the ring in the opposite direction right to connect them so I did use the original screws to keep the ring in place and super glue to glue it but it takes uh, a few hours to dry that cheap one works that way but I like that one because it's not as permanent as the as the crazy glue brand so now as you can see the ring is staying in place and i hope i can uh, do a better job now so i have this one i have to align this one now looks pretty good so far then i have to align this one that's a problem. I mentioned this at the beginning. I knew it was going to be like this. And at, at this point, I think I can give you some advice when, if you want to do this, you have to extend the wires. Extend the wires three, four inches probably. So the battery, so you can have the battery here while you connect this thing. And at the end, you just push the wires inside the battery. Nothing's gonna happen. It's not gonna be a magnetism problem because this is challenging now at some point you have to put this part back and I think I better do it now and this is another weird thing oh, it's incredible how things have changed and how much improvement we have done when it comes to this kind of stuff, design and the logic of it. It was so weird what they were doing back in the day, especially Bolu. 
with their cameras in general they have weird form factors okay looks like I got it so I'm gonna try to do this and I cannot put a lot of pressure on it because it's a uh, glue remember so I just want to grab one of them to to get in place it looks like I got it finally and uh, take a look at the voltage it's down already to 7.9 and it drops really quick I'm mentioning this because at uh, the beginning when the battery was freshly charged it was putting out more than 8 volts but that voltage is not gonna last it's gonna drop pretty quick as you start using the, the camera so it's safe uh, we got it guys it's working it's in here now all I have to do is push that one and it should be a good idea to test it after I finish this step and in order to keep it in place I'm going to use uh, bubble wrap the last step is to put this cap back I'm gonna glue it using just a little bit of this super glue it's kind of un unbalanced <laughs> because the batteries are on this side if you don't want it if you don't want that effect you can put the batteries right in the middle use some glue um, hot glue you had glue gun and that would balance it and, and the reason for me to use this cheap uh, super glue is because it's it breaks easier than the original one so uh, in three or five years from now I may want to resell the battery and I want this step to be easy I don't want to break this other part this is plastic again remember that and finally if you don't have this cap as I don't I have this for sale on eBay it's a one that you can use on this one as well and it makes it look much much nicer well I thought I was done I'm actually kind of tired of this project already but if I'm gonna do it I better do it right so I'm going to add this connector at the bottom so I can use this DC connector to charge the battery instead of having to do something like I thought at the beginning I could use something like this is a tip from my screwdriver and I was thinking I can I can just put something there and use um, alligator clips but well I'm doing it already if I'm gonna do it I, I better do it right so I'm gonna use this one and basically what I'm going to do uh, I'm not hesi that hesitant to do it now because I know that I don't have to go through the mm, process of with <laughs> that I had to pass with the, the ring. The ring is already there, so it's not, not gonna be that difficult. And I'm going to solder these two wires. One's gonna go to the negative pole connection and the other one is gonna go to the 7.2. So when I charge the battery, it's gonna charge the two batteries at the same time. So basically, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to add these wires, this connector here. At the begin, at the end, I'll just push the wires there, and should be working. And it would be way easier. I can make another one like this one for my charger, and it would be much easier. So if I want to sell the camera and if I want to sell the charger to somebody, they will know how to do it. It's not going to be that complicated. I already cleaned the glue on this part and I'm 3D printing this cover. It's gonna be just like this one.
Okay, after a long time again, struggling with this thing because the, the ring came out again. I finally got it. It's a struggle. The way I did it, I was pushing with this sharp tool. I grabbed one of the holes and I was pushing like this to keep it on top and then I trying to I was trying to align the the screws and they have to be perfectly aligned and when I say perfectly they have to be perfectly aligned if if not they don't go in there but finally got it and I struggle with it so I have to retest make sure everything is all right before I continue almost there I have to add this part this is gonna be the one for the charger um, I already added a knot that is gonna help me to extend the foot footprint of the connector so it doesn't go out Okay, so it looks like the the glue is uh, almost there. Take some time. It feels strong now. That's a pretty uh, secure connection. I don't think I have to put tape there. Ah, oh, finally got that thing. Okay, now it's time to put this thing back to make it strong. As I said before, I could add some glue here, but the battery, the material that they used is so weak that I could break it. I could break the case if I want to resell the battery in the future. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just use this plastic to keep the battery down there in place. I think it's... Uh, it's doing a good job. It's not going anywhere. I don't want to be like the designers of this battery. I don't want to make things difficult for other people. I want to make them easier. So adding that stuff, it's keeping the battery there. Now I'm going to add some more here. Just to, just to fill it up. And we should be able to put this cap back. Uh, I'm gonna finish it. And again, I'm going to test voltage because I want to be extremely sure that things are right before I connect these to electricity. These things are... There you go, that's fine, it's positive, so the polarity is correct. We got it. Uh, these things are not a game, guys. Batteries can explode. If you don't do things right, you can start a fire or something. Because you're going to connect this battery to the charger. And the charger is going to be connected to the electricity, the power, the, the outlet on the wall. And that's much more power than these small batteries that are not going to, to cause a lot of damage. So be careful. Understand what you're doing if you want to do this. I'm not telling you to do this, by the way. I'm just showing what I do with my cameras. I'm just documenting my idea. Okay, so I'm going to go and print that out and show you the final battery. 
And just to make things better, I mentioned I was printing a cover for this part so it looks better. And I'm gonna finish that and it looks pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Um, this stuff is unique. I know some people are gonna ask me if I sell this stuff. To be honest, I can sell the stuff for a few dollars and then people want customer service and they want me to guide them through the entire process and I cannot do that. Um, it's, and unfortunately, I don't know if you have the same part, if it's gonna work. And then if things don't work, people want, you know, their money back and all those things, which I mean, makes sense, right? But I'm not a big company, so I'd rather don't sell them. So, but, but look at it, at this. Oof. Pretty sexy. I like the finish. I just got a new 3D printer. And it's, it prints beautifully. Look at that. Sexy thing. And it's working fine. It's charging. All right, I tested it and you guys saw it working. So let's see the final test. Um, let's mount the battery on the camera. Screw it. Feels lighter. Oops. Uh, but nothing wrong with it. I mean, it is what it is. And as you can see, working it's alive and I offer a remote control for this camera now if you are interested in one I sell five and ten feet versions of that remote and there you have it it works and it's the same battery original one with a new charging port which looks pretty nice and that's it guys thank you so much for watching the video i hope it was helpful please subscribe please please give it a like it really helps with the algorithm and getting the message delivered thank you so much for watching